One of the very first videos I've done while trading and traveling in 2017, I was just starting to travel, was having a look at these mobile platform for trading and see how they could perform, see if I was able to trade with them. And they evolved a lot in the past five years since I've done this video. So today it's time to have a look at them again and see how we can use TradingView or BEST on the mobile platform. I'll give you my 10 favorite tips, things that are really useful to use that I use all the time that I just discovered sometimes recently, and you'll be able to use the TradingView app a lot better. So let's get started. All right, so as part of this video, I want to show you on TradingView the best features they have. And I've got here a iPhone mini. It's the phone I use all the time. It works really well for me. So today I'll show you 10 features that I really like. And then you let me know in the comment section if you have anything else you like, anything else you see on TradingView on the mobile app that you really like a lot and that you use all the time yourself. I want to hear your thoughts, of course, in the comment section. So let's kind of share and explore TradingView together. Okay, so first things first, here I am on the TradingView app. Now you'll see I have the chart over here and we'll have a look at our tips one by one. First thing I want to show you is the chart layout. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but here we have a black screen. We have some red candles, some green candles. For me, it's hard to see. I don't really like this interface myself. So what you can do is simply go here at the three dots at the bottom right, click on this, and it's going to open up this menu here. Now I'll go here to the bottom of this page. I'll go here where it says chart layout. Now I have my crypto three time frames. So this one, this one is black. And I want to open up a new one. I'll just go to load. Then I can choose here whichever profile or layout I want to open. I'll use my default because this one is a white background. Uh, for me, it's easier to look like this. Plus I have my zones. I have a look at on the, the weekly chart. So I can just use that for my own reference now. So now that I've got my chart layout open here, one thing I'll have a look at is the dark theme. Now, you know, I'm not a fan of dark themes that much, but in this case, sometimes it hurts your eyes a lot. We're going to go here at the bottom right click on this menu icon. Then you can just turn off or turn on dark team here. We'll just do this. It's going to charge the template. Okay. Now we are in the bright side. We'll go back to the dark side for fun. Uh, you prefer, you pick which one you prefer. I like the dark theme better, but with white charts. Okay. So now we are on the light side. You can choose of course which one you prefer, uh, up to you of course, but this works for me quite well. The thing I want to show you is now there's a lot of stuff on the chart. I want to make them a little bit cleaner. Especially I'm looking at the here, the top left, it's kind of like we have the, uh, uh, we have the currency pair, we have the price, we have the high, low, close, something of the sort. So I'll just go here. And what I want to do is I want to tap on this icon, the pair or here, the instrument. And from here we can hide the buy and sell button. So these are the button here for trading. We can hide them. Uh, you can also hide if you want the open, high, low, close values that would take some stuff. You can also hide the open market status. Uh, that basically is not much. Okay, that's only a dot we have over here that tells us if the market is open or not. You can use this for fun if you want. Pretty cool. Uh, but then we have a chart a lot cleaner. We have less things in the chart. It's a lot less cluttered than before. You can turn these on at any point by going back again, clicking here on the pair or the instrument, then adding them back again here. Next thing we can do is combining multiple time frames. Now this is a big key in my trading. I want to be able to look at multiple time frames, multiple charts at the same time. So we'll go here. And we again tap on the three dots at the bottom right. And here we have our layout. Tap on layout. It's going to bring back the layout from your, from your specific layout. So if you have a layout with three charts, then you have three charts. If you have a layout with four charts, you have four charts. In my case, I use three charts for my trading. Uh, you can set that on your computer, by the way. You can just set these dots on your computer. I believe you do need the paid version of TradingView to do that. So you cannot do it for free, but it's still a pretty good thing to have if you're going to look at multiple time frames, look at your trades here, look at the setup on different time frames. So I quite like that myself now to be able to look at these different time frames. If I need to look at some trades, usually I go on these time frames and I'll look at the candles on each time frame first. Okay. So fifth, let's have a look at how we can pick some instrument in trading view. Now on many platforms, uh, it's annoying because you got to go here to your watch this, you got to pick a pair. Then you gotta kind of open the chart, then you can see this, and you gotta go back here. But on trading view, they make it a lot easier to do that. And how this works is you go on your chart. Here at the bottom, you see ADUSD, you can just hold it and then scroll to pick any pair or anything you want in your watch list. Here we have USD SDK. Here we go back, we have USD Hong Kong dollars. These are pairs I follow sometimes. And you go back here, you are back in your list of currency pairs. And the same thing goes with here your time frame hold it and then you can just scroll to whichever time frame you want that is in your favorite time frame so you can select those here one hour here we go this is done 
Uh, if you want to change your default time frame here, your favorite, you simply tap on this once. Don't hold, don't hold it. Just tap once. Then scroll down, and the one you want, you can just hold them, and then add to favorite if you want. Here we have a 15 second chart, and we have a bunch of them. You can just change it, number of bars, anything, and so on. So pretty cool to be able to change your time frames easily in that way. Because you can just go to different charts quickly. You can scroll with different pairs or instrument quickly. Pretty cool stuff. Now let's talk about number six, paper trading. Something pretty cool they have on TradingView on the mobile app, and they're starting to add different things, is the broker selection. Now, right now you only got basically one broker, which is the paper trading version, so only in demo. In the future, they wanna add different brokers. So you'll be able to connect your broker on the app and trade straight from there. So if you want to use paper trading, simply from your chart, click the three dots, then connect broker, and then simply tap on the broker of choice, which is going to be more later, or for now paper trading. So demo, connect. You will be able to log into this broker here. Okay, number seven. As you know, trading is a platform, you can put alerts, these are very popular. Like I said before, just tap long on your screen on any chart, at any level you want to put an alert, tap the plus, and then you can just add an alert here. Okay, now you'll receive them on your phone. You can also change the sound for these alerts. If you go in the main menu, go into settings, and you can change the alert sound over here. They have a bunch of sounds that you can use. Okay, so you can change this if you want. You can change your alert sound. So I'll just leave it as default for now. Uh, and then you can simply go back to your charts. And if you click here, the three dots again, go down into alert management, you'll see all your alerts there. And which ones are triggered, which ones are not. All that's going on here so we've got all our alerts in the past okay i have a lot of alerts but a lot of them are cancelled so they're not valid anymore but you can just do this here you can also add a new alert based on an, an indicator you have or a setup you have or a price in the chart so you can pretty much do all these things uh, you can even do an engulfing you see with these candlesticks you, you can put alerts for candlesticks in the chart it's pretty good it's pretty interesting uh so this is good if you want to cancel the alerts Tap on it, then just to remove, and the alert is canceled over here. But pretty good if you want to be able to monitor some trades, some levels and things. Uh, I use this when I put a trade and I want to, let's say, move my step at break even. I put an alert at break even. I put an alert when price reaches the level I want. Then I go back on the desktop platform and move my stop loss there. So I get notified on my phone. I gotta go back to my desktop to do it for now, but, it's, but still the alerts are pretty useful for that. Okay, number eight, let's talk about the chart types. Now, a lot of you guys are fans of Haken Ashi. I've done videos on that in the past, quite a few of them. If you go here and you click the three dots again, you go into chart types, you can change for any kind of chart you want, any kind you could imagine. Uh, by default, they have candles, which is a default, but you can simply go back here and then you can change this for these Haken Ashi candles. It's gonna change your charts over here. Uh, you can, they have a bunch of weird ones too that I've never used. Can change this for your Kagi. Here we go, it's loading. Okay, cool, we got that. Pretty useless, but if you like them, then <laughs> use that, that's fine. Uh, we can change it for the range, it's really old style. A uh, bunch of things here. So pretty cool. You've got a lot we can choose from in that case. So quick way to change your charts and to add some different candlesticks or different ways of seeing the chart, which is pretty good, of course. Okay, so number nine, let's talk about how to place trades on this platform with the paper trading we set up earlier. All right, so we've got here our buy and sell button, or one click button, we can use them to buy or sell. So I can just say tap on this to buy, then I can use whichever order I want, buy, uh, sell, market limit, or, or so on, we can change this. We see here in the middle is the spread, just above the limit uh, sign is spread. So we have a few options there, we can do things here. Other option you can do is, let's say you wanna buy at a specific price, you can just tap on the screen here until you see this uh, cross line. Tap on the plus. The plus gives you a few options to either put an alert at this level for different setups, different levels, or to buy or sell at this price, or you can just create a new order from scratch. So if we do this, let's say we buy here, we can just, we have the price in mind of where we wanna buy. We can just change our risk and take profit stop loss. So let's say I wanna put, and by the way, you have a calculator here to calculate the percent risk per trade, which is pretty cool. So if I put a take profit 75 pip, stop loss 25 pip, I wanna risk 1%, I just go here, and I'll do here 1% in the risk percent. You can risk a fixed dollar amount if you want, uh, also on. It's gonna tell you how much you would risk, so roughly $1,000 on this account, and then it's gonna tell you how many units you need to buy. 
So 542,000 units in that case. If I just go here, I'm just gonna do actually a market order. Uh, so we'll just do this like this, 25 pip from now, 75 pip take profit. We can just go here and buy. And here we go. Our order is placed. We see the market here. It's starting to move right now. You see now it says minus 0.2%. As it goes in our favor, it's gonna maybe increase or decrease and so on. Uh, but pretty much all the thing is there. Now we can go on the lower time frame, see how price evolves. Let's see on a 15 minute chart. Let's go on a, actually a five minute. So we get faster. Cool, so things here are, are evolving. Okay, so we see here price is going down a little bit. Cool, no big deal. Just gonna hide these buttons here. I'm not a fan of them. The here one click buy, one click sell buttons. Yeah, they're, they're okay. So we've got our trades in and now we're able to play with the trade. We can long tap on it to be able to see some options with it. We can reverse, we can close, we can protect. Uh, so protect will be you take a different position like you hedge in the opposite direction. Um, you can also simply, if you click here on the X, you can decide to do a partial close. So you can put the number of units here you wanna close. We have 543,000 units. Let's say you wanna close like uh, 250,000 units in that case. Here we go, we can close this. We can do a partial close. It's gonna reduce our trades by this amount in that case. Um, or you can just do something like this. If you wanna be able to modify your take profit stop loss, just tap on them and then you can modify them here really easily in that case. I'm not able to drag them for some reason here. I've been trying to drag these uh, levels here to modify them like you can do on the desktop platform, but it's not possible here at all for now. Uh, but that's pretty much what you can do to place trades here. So we'll just go here. Let's see you wanna cancel your stop loss. Tap X on it, it's, it's, go it's going to cancel the bracket. The stop loss, stop loss here is canceled. And then we're just left with this and we take profit in that case. Okay, if you wanna close the trade, just tap here. Close position, it's gonna close all of it. Then here you go, it's closed. If you go back here and wanna see your stats, so you simply go on the three dots, paper trading again, you'll see your journal or history. You see here the trades you've taken. Uh, you see here the account history. And then you go here, you can see your trading journal, the trades you've taken in the past. So pretty cool, if you wanna do some back there, you wanna test some things out, just have some fun, use this paper trading account, and you'll be pretty much good to go with it. You can place trades right down the platform. I really look forward for when they will add some more brokers. I think that's gonna be pretty cool to trade there straight on, straight on trading view. But until then, we gotta do some work and just do some paper trading. Uh, but pretty decent for now. And finally, number 10 is a pretty cool feature on the desktop platform. If you click here on the watch list, and you have all your pairs, and want to be able to monitor them, see what's going on, you can flag them. And it's something you have on the desktop, of course, very frequently, but here you just got a long tap on the pair. And then you just got a, you can do ideas, of course, you can open the chart, open the chart preview, which is something like this. Or you can also simply go here and flag the pair, which whatever color you want. So I'll just flag this one blue. Uh, I've got myself a small color code for this, like what's blue, what's, what's green, what's this, what's this for what it means, but you can just flag whatever you want. If you wanna have a look at it or not forget about something on it, you can do it like this. And then the pair is gonna be flagged here. And if you go on your desktop platform, it's also going to be flagged. So have a look at this here. I'll just show you here quickly. I flagged the pair on my platform on the TradingView app. And here we go on the desktop, it's also flagged. Yeah, the GPY, and the pair is also flagged here in that case. So pretty good with the same color, of course. All right guys, so we've covered over 10 tips here for TradingView, 10 things that are really useful that you can use, that are, I think, things you should use, you should at least experiment with or look at. Leave me your thoughts in the comment section below as always, I wanna hear what you think, I wanna hear your comments. Subscribe if it's not done yet. Both your videos on TradingView in the past, I'll leave the link over here for the playlist of that, you can check it out. And you'll be able to watch more of them and learn more about TradingView on desktop, on the app right now, and a few other things of course. With that being said, I'll catch you back here in the next video. Ciao.